cities lend themselves to street photography. Because that's where the people are. One of the things that interests me the most about street photography is the possibility of gesture. Uh, I think in my most interesting pictures, that's a major element. And this comes out of having begun my career as a public relations photographer. And how do you make an otherwise pretty boring picture more interesting? You look for a gesture. I mean, the perfect example is when the Prime Minister is making a speech in front of number 10, standing behind a podium with papers in her hand. And as long as she's reading the papers and looking up a little bit, you don't hear any camera clicks from the press out of range. But the minute she makes a gesture or looks up and says this, you'll hear all the cameras going because that gesture is what has given that otherwise really boring picture some life. I often work on Oxford Street because it's crowded, it's full of shoppers. There's a constant river of people coming at you between Oxford Circus itself and up on up to Selfridges. And the people change as you go through different parts of it as well. It's an ever-changing mass of humanity, most of whom are absorbed in their own thoughts and they're just not gonna pay attention to you as a photographer if you're quick and unobtrusive. And they're talking, they're gesturing, they're moving around, they're moving around each other, so there's constant motion. And even if you're talking to someone next to you, if you're walking, you're also conscious of what else is going on. So when you speak to the person, chances are you're gonna be making bigger gestures. You'll be talking a little more loudly in a little more animated fashion, because otherwise they're not gonna hear you in the hubbub of everything else that's going on around you. An exercise I give students in workshops is stand in one place on a corner for half an hour or even an hour and just photograph what goes by. And I do occasionally make myself do that. Because if you stand in one place for any length of time, you see how people move. And they will move in a, generally in a certain way. And you, it's like watching a river. You see where how the, how the water of people, the river of people flow around the rocks, which is the corner. And you, you have two streams coming together. How do they interact? And if you watch it long enough, you'll see that it's predictable. When I talk about gesture, I don't necessarily mean the obvious, you know, someone pointing or waving their arms around or shaking their fist. Although, let's face it, that's the big gesture. Sometimes it can be as small as something I caught in the underground a few years ago. A young woman was looking at a text message on her phone, but next to her is a much older gentleman who is reading her text messages, just fascinated, and he's just like that. And that is a little gesture, but tells a big story. When you do get something good, where you have the light, the gesture, the subjects, the emotion, some ambiguity, and it all manages to fall into the rectangle, you have something really special. And that's, that's what I'm looking for.